Okay, today we're going to introduce the topic of pressure and uh, units used to measure pressure amongst different pieces of equipment or you know just in general in hyperbaric oxygen which also has a very strong foundation in scuba diving and diving medicine. There are so many ways to measure uh, pressure and different units that are often used interchangeably so it gets pretty confusing. I do recommend that you uh, expose yourself to as many different versions of this as you can so that you're able to have a fluid conversation regardless of whether the person is a diver or in diving medicine or strictly clinical hyperbaric. Uh, the more you understand around this, the more, uh, the more you're able to effectively communicate either with patients or you know, other healthcare professionals exactly what uh, protocols you might be using or uh, different ways that you expose patients to pressure um, and you'll be able to effectively communicate those differences if you're very familiar with these different units of measurement. So we're not gonna cover all of them today. We're really just gonna cover a few, and it's really just to lay the groundwork and to be able to better understand the equipment specifically that you're using. Uh, we're also gonna talk just a touch about diving medicine in terms of understanding that uh, when we talk about hyperbaric, we're creating an artificial pressurized environment, and that environment is, uh, correlates with below sea level pressure. And uh, the reason that that's important is because what we understand is that at one atmosphere, I happen to be at one atmosphere right now, which is sea level. So at sea level, there's a pressure being acted upon us. Uh, that pressure is called one atmosphere. As we go above one atmosphere in elevation, whether that's in an airplane or uh, Colorado or you're hiking Mount Everest, as you go up in elevation, there is less air pressure. The atmospheric pressure is less and as there's less air pressure, there's less oxygen absorption. The opposite is true as you go below sea level. As you go below sea level, there's more pressure, more air pressure, which means there's a further degree of oxygen absorption, okay? There are all kinds of uh, lectures that we could do on that, just that alone, in terms of the differences between the two and all the gas laws involved, which we'll save for a later date, but I do want you to understand that elevation creates a loss of air pressure, uh, going below sea level creates an increase in air pressure, and the pressure of the air, or the pressure of the oxygen, is ultimately what dictates the oxygen absorption within our uh, blood supply and within our tissues. So uh, let's talk about soft chambers. So soft chambers are basically um, hyperbaric chambers that are equipped to go to a very specific depth and that depth is 1.3 atmospheres. What does that mean? At one atmosphere, uh, like I said earlier, there is a pressure that is being exerted upon us. That pressure is, you can call it one atmosphere. You could also say it's 14.7 PSI. And so one atmosphere equals 14.7 PSI. And in a soft chamber, we're pressurizing the environment 0.3 more than what the environment is that I'm in right now at sea level. So 1.3 is a 0.3 increase of uh, atmospheric pressure above sea level, above sea level pressure, but below sea level depth, okay? So, and that on a gauge, so the, the gauges on, our, on the equipment that we use, the gauges measure in PSI. And so what we need to understand is that at 1.3 atmospheres, which is what that's gonna pressurize to, uh, the gauge itself on the machine in PSI is going to read 4.2 PSI. So one atmosphere equals 14.7 PSI. And if we go 0.3 deeper, that's adding another 4.2 PSI to our exposure. And so the gauge is not measuring the total, which would be 14.7 PSI plus the 4.2. It's really just measuring the additional 4.2, okay? So 1.3 atmospheres equals 4.2 PSI, and that's equivalent to about nine or 10 feet uh, underwater. So the water pressure, as the depth goes down to about the deep end of a pool, let's say 10 feet, the pressure down there is about 4.2 PSI for 1.3 atmospheres, okay? As, as you leave soft chambers and, and possibly get into some hard chambers, uh, there's a few different options in terms of pressure. And, and I, I wanna talk about those just so that you become familiar with the equipment should you choose to start using one of the steel chambers. 
So in a steel chamber, the typical first valve that most of us use is still 1.3. So again, 1.3 atmospheres on the valve is gonna show me about 4.2 PSI on my gauges. The next gauge up is 1.5. It doesn't sound like there's too big of a difference between 1.3 maybe and 1.5 in terms of atmospheres, but again, we're making fractions of 14.7. So uh, from 1.3 to 1.5 in atmospheres is 4.2 PSI going up to about 7.5 PSI. So it's a big jump. Each fraction of an atmosphere is quite a few PSI. Uh, seven and a half PSI or 1.5 atmospheres, that's about 16 or 17 feet uh, under seawater equivalent, okay? The next valve that most of us have is the 1.7 valve. The 1.7 valve, uh, 1.75 actually, is 11 PSI, okay? And at 11 PSI, you're about 25 feet below seawater. The next valve is the 2.0. So think about it, at 2.0, we're literally doubling the pressure. So I told you one atmosphere is 14.7 uh, PSI. So we're literally adding another 14 PSI. So on our valve, it'll say 2.0 ATA atmospheres, but our gauge is gonna say 14 PSI, and that's 33 feet below sea level. Okay, the last one we have here on this machine, on these two machines, uh, is 2.2. Uh, and at 2.2, it's gonna say just a little bit over 16 PSI, okay? So again, this is just an introduction to the conversation that there are many ways for us to say the same thing. We could use atmospheres, we can use PSI, we can use feet of seawater, but there are others. We could use bar, we can use um, millimeters of mercury. There are, there are quite a few different units of measurement. So, but understand that we can say the same thing using different units, and what I'm trying to do today is correlate a few of them for you so that you understand when you hear, either hear someone else talking to you about it or somebody asks you questions or you're talking to another doctor, uh, you understand those relationships. So just to summarize, a soft chamber goes to 1.3, that's 0.3 uh, atmospheres of pressure ab above and beyond the pressure of uh, the atmosphere at, at sea level, and that's 4.2 atmospheres, okay? Then 1.5, which is 7.5 PSI, then 1.75, which is 11 PSI, uh, uh, 2.0 atmospheres, so two atmospheres, which is uh, 14 PSI, and then uh, the 2.2 atmospheres, which is a little over 16 PSI. Okay, hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you next time.